Good morning, Year 7 and 8. I hope that you are doing good. And we are going to go through another technology lesson. Today, you are in my kitchen. Last week, you were in Mr. Thomas's shed. I unfortunately do not have a fancy shed with lots of tools in it. So you're going to have to put up with me talking for the next while. So our um, topic for today are, oops, my surface is going to run out of battery. Let's just plug that in. There we go. Our topic for today are softwoods, hardwoods and manufactured boards. So our lesson steps are to know what softwoods, hardwoods and manufactured boards are, to understand what softwoods, hardwoods and manufactured boards can be used for and to be able to list different types of softwoods, hardwoods and manufactured boards. So you should be able to do all that at the end of today's lesson and we're going to check in at the end just to make sure that you know that. So we're going to start out with softwoods today. Softwoods keep their leaves all year round, which means they're evergreen trees. They, Because they keep their leaves all year round, they can grow all year round, which means that they grow pretty fast. Because they grow pretty fast, the rings inside the wood are much further apart than they are for hardwoods. Because they are further, further apart, that's what makes these types of woods a little bit softer and a little bit weaker. All right. And because they grow so quick, they only take around 30 years to grow until they are, uh, are at adult maturity, which means they're as tall as they're going to get. Um, advantages of softwoods are that they are much cheaper to buy because they take only around 30 years to grow it means that there is a quick enough turnaround in them you can plant the tree you can cut it down and you can sell the wood relatively quickly and um, they are much lighter than um hardwood so if you are making a product that needs to be lightweight you might want to use a softwood they are also easier to cut which is um which is good for us in school. They're easy to cut, they're easy to shape, and they are easy for us to mold into a product that we want. Disadvantages are that they're not as strong, which means they don't support as much weight as a hardwood. They are not as hard. Now, hard means that they are resistant to scratches and dents, okay? So we're talking about the surface of something when we say how hard it is. So, um. Softwoods are relatively easy to mark. I remember when I was younger, I wrote a number on a page and I was leaning on um, my mum's pine furniture and I got in lots of trouble because what I wrote on the page got marked into the wood. All right, so you need to be careful. Don't get in trouble at home for doing that. Um, and they're also more prone to warping. So that means that when something changes shape, so, for example, if you had a plank of wood sitting in your garden that was a softwood and you had a plank of wood sitting in your garden that was a hardwood, the, uh, the softwood would change shape with the weather and wriggle up quicker than the hardwood. An example of where um, softwoods might be used are furniture inside your house. So, like I said, I ruined my mum's pine furniture by writing on it. So, that um, pine is a type of softwood. There's also cedar and fir. They're examples of softwood that you might want to take note of. So now we're looking at hardwoods. Hardwoods lose their leaves in the winter, which means that they only grow for part of the year, not all of the year. And um, because they only grow for a uh, part of the year, it means that they grow much slower. So they'll get taller and they'll reach maturity a lot slower than softwoods. A hardwood could take hundreds of years to grow till its full size, and a softwood will only take around 30 years to grow until it's reached maturity. Because they grow a lot, um, they grow a lot slower, the rings inside the wood are closer together. And it's those rings that are closer together that um, actually makes it stronger and harder. So advantages of hardwoods are that they are much, they last much longer indoor and outdoor. So they are more resilient to wear and tear. They're more resilient to weather and different environments outside. So they would last a lot longer. Um, they're also much stronger due to the rings being close together, like I said, 
which means that they are good for structural projects. So say, for example, you were going to make a bench for outside, you might want to use a hardwood because it will hold the weight better of someone sitting on it and it will also last um, better outside. Um, they're also harder. Remember we said harder is it resists scratches and dents. So you might want to make a table out of a hardwood because if you're riding on it, if you're eating your dinner off it, you're going to have little scratches on it. So a hardwood would resist those scratches better than a softwood. There's also disadvantages of having hardwoods. They are much, much more expensive because they take so long to grow and to regrow. If you were to plant a new one, they take much, um, they're much more expensive when you go to buy some hardwood. They are worse for the environment because sometimes when people cut down a hardwood tree, they'll replace it with a softwood tree so that it grows quicker, so that they can cut it down quicker, plant more trees. So they're a bit worse for the environment. They are harder to cut and shape. So it's actually harder to work with a hardwood. You have to put more effort into cutting it. They also um, wear down tools a lot faster and they are a lot heavier than softwoods. If you were to transport softwoods and hardwoods, you could maybe fit um, 40 planks of hardwood on a truck, whereas you could fit 60 uh, softwood planks on a truck. So they are heavier, which means that they're harder to export, they're more expensive to export. Um, so where can you use a hardwood? You can use a hardwood for furniture, you can use it for outdoors, you can use it for railway sleepers like um, shown in the picture. And some examples of names of hardwoods are oak, mahogany, maple, cherry, walnut, redwood, teak, birch, and lots of other ones, okay? If you ever look um, at hardwood, redwood trees, there's some really, really cool pictures of redwood trees where they grow so big that the road actually goes through the tree. So it's like a, an arch over the road, but it's actually just a big mass of redwood tree. It's really cool. So there we go. So manufactured boards are like the name would suggest, they are man-made. Okay, so they're made up of different types of wood, softwoods, hardwoods, and they are made into a sheet of material for a certain purpose. So the first one we're going to look at is block board. You can see inside here that there's little blocks of usually pine inside that. So there's blocks that go all the way down and then over the top there is a sheet of wood on the top and there's also a sheet of wood on the bottom. So block board is built up of a coarse softwood like I said, usually pine, and they are strips that are all glued together using an adhesive. So using, and um, they are covered with a sheet of plywood at the top. So they are also, they're most often used as a building material. They are a little bit cheaper than a solid wood, and they're also better for building because they come in much bigger sizes. Because they aren't um, natural, they are a lot bigger. If you want to make a manufactured board, you can make it a lot bigger because you don't, you aren't stuck to just the size of a trunk of a tree. Next, we have chipboard, and like it suggests, there's lots and lots of different chips of wood that are all glued together. So they're glued together with a resin, and they're pressed into a nice sheet. Um, it's not as strong as plywood or blockboard, but it's a lot less expensive. Chipboard is often covered with um, a plastic on the front, a veneer to make it look a lot nicer. Um, it can be sometimes used for furniture and it can also be used sometimes kitchen cupboards. The inside of them are chipboard covered with a nice plastic on the outside. Next we have MDF, medium density fibre boards, which is also used for kitchens a lot of the time. It's relatively cheap, it's compressed, it's um, made up of more uh, finer pieces of wood. So like chipboard, it's wood mixed together with resin and pressed into the board. Only MDF is fibers rather than chips of wood, right? So that means that it's a lot smoother than chipboard. This material can be worked, shaped and machined easily. 
and it can be painted, it can be veneered, it can be uh, lots of different things can be done with MDF. And the last one we are going to look at is plywood. Plywood is made up of lots of different layers. So you can see down here, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers on this one. Um, this is made up of really thin sheets of timber and the green on plywood goes 90 degrees every time. So that means the first layer of the green, which are the lines in the wood, would go like this. The second layer, the green would go the other way. Third, fourth. Okay. And when we lay them up at 90 degrees, it means that it is a lot stronger. If you have a piece of wood that the green goes this way, it means that it can quite easily um oh sorry it can quite easily snap along here if you have a, a piece of wood where the grains go this way it means that it can quite easily snap along here if you have a piece of plywood where the grain goes both ways it means that it is strong in both ways okay so that means it's not it's hard to snap this way and it's also hard to snap that way okay so they build up more strength when you put them like that all right um let me just move on so our lesson steps were to know what softwoods hardwoods and manufactured boards are hopefully you all know that now you need to understand what softwoods hardwoods and manufactured can be used for like we said softwoods can be used for different types of furniture hardwoods that can be used for outside purposes railway sleepers benches outside maybe a table inside and manufactured boards like i said can be used for lots and lots of different things most prominently they can be used for um kitchens so um, your last lesson step was to be able to give examples of softwoods, hardwoods and manufactured boards, which I'm sure you all can. If you are stuck, you can look th back through the PowerPoint. So what you need to do now is I will have emailed you out a link for a forms quiz. You need to click on that link. You need to write your answers or click your answers. And then at the end of that, you should get some feedback on how you've done. If you are stuck, and you still need some help, you can either email me or you can email your class teacher. Or if you want, there's two websites I have put just right here in front of you. You can look those up. You can go to technology student and then you can look up softwoods, hardwoods and manufacture boards. They're all there for you. All right. Remember, we're only an email away if you need help. And I hope you have a good week and a good day. All right. Bye.